The Philippines has been using the C-130 Hercules since 1973, making it a cornerstone of the Philippine Air Force's PAF, transport, and logistics capabilities for over four decades. These rugged, multi-role cargo have played a vital role in a wide range of missions, from military operations to humanitarian and disaster relief efforts across the archipelago. Known for its reliability and versatility, the C-130 has been essential in delivering troops, equipment and supplies, and in airlifting civilians during natural disasters. Over the years, the PAF has continued to upgrade and expand its fleet, cementing the C-130's importance in the country's defense and emergency response strategies. In October 2023, the Philippines decided to acquire three brand new C-130J-30 Super Hercules. Hi, welcome back to our channel. If you are new to our channel, welcome and enjoy. But before we delve deeper, what is the new C-130J Super Hercules? Do you want to get informed about the latest news and updates in defense here and abroad? Then hit the subscribe button and like our video to get updated here in Defense Forces Insight. Thanks. Let's start. A tested aircraft that can operate in difficult environmental and geographical situations and produce known operational results and capabilities is needed for the tactical mission profile. The Philippine Air Force, PAF, who will fly these new Super Hercules, got all of these features and more from the C-130J-30. The Philippines has been using C-130s for a long time. In the early 1970s, it acquired its first Hercules aircraft. Throughout the Indo-Pacific region, the PAF presently supports vital humanitarian, military, and disaster relief operations with a mixed fleet of historic C-130 aircraft. The C-130J-30, a stretch variant of the C-130J that provides an extra 15 feet, 5 meters, of cargo area, will be flown by PAF crews. The enhanced power, range, integration, space, and capabilities of the Super Hercules will help PAF operators handle the demands of intricate and changing tactical missions. Super Hercules offers unparalleled interoperability and capabilities to the Philippine Air Force meeting demanding mission requirements throughout the Pacific. The Philippines, with its new fleet of C-130Js, is a part of a worldwide network of Super Hercules operators and provides the PAF with unparalleled allies' commonality, access to a strong international support network, an active supply chain, an advanced block upgrade program, and opportunities to collaborate with other C-130J operators worldwide. The most recent aircraft to join the C-130 fleet is the C-130J, which has taken the place of some of the older C-130Hs and elderly C-130Es. Modern technology used in the C-130J minimizes personnel requirements, cuts operating and support expenses, and saves money during the aircraft's life cycle compared to previous C-130 versions. The J model C-130 can climb higher and faster than its earlier counterpart, can fly farther at a greater cruise speed, and can take off and land more quickly. Stretch variant C-130J-30 has 15 feet of additional fuselage length, boosting cargo compartment useful area, advanced two-pilot flight station with fully integrated digital avionics, color multifunctional liquid crystal and head-up displays, and cutting-edge navigation with dual inertial navigation system and GPS are only a few of the C-130J-30's main system advancements. In addition, the aircraft has new turboprop engines with six-bladed all-composite propellers, a digital autopilot, low-power color radar, and a dynamic map display. Additionally, the C-130J-30 has an upgraded cargo handling system, better fuel efficiency, and increased environmental and ice protection. C-130J-30 has a maximum speed of 410 miles per hour, has a ceiling of 26,000 feet, a maximum take-off weight of 164,000 pounds. With a maximum payload of 44,000 pounds, 19,958 kilograms, a range of 2,100 nautical miles. All three aircraft are scheduled to be delivered in 2026. What do you think of the brand new C-130J-30? Share your thoughts in the comment section below. I hope you learned from our video. If you want to watch a video informative like this, click any of the two videos that will appear before this video ends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like our video. Thank you for watching 
and see you in the next one.